I came from a small town, so I adapt here uh, well, you know. So uh, it's good that uh, it's a lot of peace and quiet. You know, you stay to yourself or with your family, and it's not so many distractions outside the court, which is good. You know, it's great for the fans to to really uh, take so big a part of basketball. You know, they feel so close to the team because they see us on a daily basis. We're not so far away where they can't touch us or see us. They see us every day out in the center because we have to go eat and do things with our family. Oh, it's good. It's a historic place, you know. It's uh, very famous for the polio, you know, the horse race, but we're never here. That's Unfortunately, that's our vacation time in the summer, so. My neighborhood won last year, so uh, it was parties every day, so it was hard to get sleep at the beginning of the season, but this year, uh, unfortunately, we didn't, we didn't repeat, but, uh, but it's good, you know, it's a good competition between the neighborhoods, and, you know, after it's over, everybody's still one big family. Yeah, when we at the hotel, we play a lot of cards, you know, uh, Stone Rook, now Hawkins, uh, trying to teach Henry. He's learning, but uh, <laughs> so we won't take all his money yet because he's not really good at playing cards yet. But no, we uh, we play time. That's just a little bonding experience that we do, something to bond and, and keep the chemistry and the, the team continuity kind of together. I started my backyard in my when I was five, six years old. You know, so I was very young. Uh, when my mom take me to the, the preschool, I was always the one at the basket, basketball goal. So I started at a very young age in my yard and just watching my older friends uh, out there playing until I was able to get out there and play with them. To play well is always difficult. You know, you have to put in the work in order to be, to be good. You have to put the necessary work in to get to that level. And when I was in Ferrara and, and uh, Capital Orlando, I, I watched the Euro League and I watched uh, the guys and I knew that's the level I wanted to be at and wanted to be one of the top players in that league because I knew if I worked to, to get to that point, it could happen. Uh, you know, the pick and roll is something I, uh, I just think I had a knack for, you know, uh, because I tried to read. The more I start to run pick and roll, the more I try to understand all the situations, you know, when they help, when they don't help, which man help and which guy's open. Uh, which guy should I hit to hit the next open man? So I try to study all the facets of the pick and roll to help me become a, a good pick and roll player. On a winning organization, everybody has to play a part. You know, it has to be a, a, a total, total team. If the organization has to be good to keep the players and the coaching staff happy. The coaches have to be good to understand his players, to know, you know, what quality his players have and incorporate their qualities onto the court. And the players have to be, you know, ready to give 100% at all times on the court. So it's totally a team effort out there. And uh, what makes us good is everybody, you know, don't care about nothing but winning. And that's great. You know, we understand that defense is always the key uh, to our success. And we want to, you know, give that, you know, like everybody, you don't play your best all the time, so if you can stay constant in defense, that'll help you prevail most of the time. I think uh, defense is just uh, will, desire, uh, reaction, you know, uh, because you know you don't really know what the offense is going to do when, uh, all the time, so uh, you got to have a good instinct. If you're in the right position, most of the time, good things are happening. Uh, when you don't be in the right position, that's when you see the opponent scores. When I was growing up, I looked at guys who were similar to me, like Damon Stoudemire, Travis Best at the time, uh, guys who were small and, and were left-handed. Over here in Europe, you know, just watching guys and talking to guys like uh, that had been through it, you know, talking to Trajan Langdon a little bit, uh, J.R. Holden, like guys like that. And, and then once I got to Siena, uh, and then Boosie came back, he was able to give me experience because he'd been to the Final Four, and he was able to talk to me just about being successful in Europe and the work he got to put in. So uh, I think we just got to take, take it one step at a time. Uh, the first year we got to the Final Four, uh, the first year I was in Euroleague, we got to the Final Four. I think we were just happy to be there, you know. We wasn't, didn't, we, we was happy to be there, but we weren't really thinking we could win it, you know, which is, is, is good and it's bad because it gave us motivation for the next year, last year. And I think last year we looked too much to the Final Four instead of playing 
the regular season game by game. You know, we was looking too far ahead. 